Every year in the UK, there is an average of 350 reported cases of Legionnaire's disease. There are also 330,000 reported cases of water-related diseases in the EU. This pneumonia-like illness is a serious lung infection caused by Legionella bacteria that occurs naturally in soil which then contaminates our lakes and rivers. When they find their way into man-made water supply systems, they can multiply to harmful levels when presented with the right conditions. Legionella thrive in moist conditions between 20 to 45 degrees Celsius. They multiply rapidly when presented with protozoa-rich biofilms often associated with bacteria such as Pseudomonas. When their population overwhelms the biofilm, they disperse into the water system, becoming a hazard when they are dispersed in an aerosol at the outlet, such as taps or showers. Legionnaire's disease, which has a mortality rate of up to 40% in vulnerable cases, is contracted when airborne water droplets containing Legionella is inhaled. First, as part of the body's defences, the alveolar macrophages, the cells in the lungs responsible for removing dust particles, encapsulate the Legionella bacteria. The Legionella avoid destruction and multiply, which then destroys the cell, releasing a large number of bacteria that go on to infect other macrophages. Everyone is exposed to infection, but there are higher risk groups who are more susceptible. Under health and safety legislation, companies are required to protect employees and the public from risks associated with Legionella. More specifically, there is an improved code of practice published by the HSE which has special legal status. ACOP L8 outlines the five principles that employers must follow. Identify and assess the source of risk. Prepare a scheme for controlling the risk. Implement, manage and monitor precautions keep records of precautions and appoint someone to be managerially responsible. To help employers and landlords achieve their legal duties and minimise risks associated with Legionella, HSG 274 has also been published by the HSE. This chart shows some of the practical steps required for controlling Legionella in your water system and complying with the ACOP L8. A specialist Legionella risk assessment must be carried out and reviewed as required, typically every two years. A qualified risk assessor will trace all pipework and inspect each asset evaluating the risk. The report should ideally contain asset registries, photographs and site schematics. Monthly monitoring is one of the most effective ways to prevent serious problems within your water system. Results of temperature monitoring, shower head disinfections and water heater inspections must be recorded in a logbook to demonstrate compliance. When a tank shows signs of contamination during a regular service inspection, it must be cleaned and disinfected, taking microbiological samples to ensure it's free from harmful pathogens. Tanks supplying drinking water should be cleaned and disinfected annually as a minimum. The risk assessment will identify physical improvements to bring your water system up to compliance, removing dead legs, upgrading tanks to code and removing redundant water heaters for example will improve the hygienic operation of your system. For more information and advice on how to achieve compliance, call our team today.